Today I want to tell you with a schematic uh, drawing how uh, the varicose system works and especially why embolization and laparoscopic surgeries are not working. So to, to, uh, to make it simpler, I want to say in embolization, as you know, they come from the venous system and go into the internal testicular veins and put a coil here. This coil uh, stops the blood flow here and we expect all of the vascular uh, structures, all of the varicose veins will disappear and the testis will be healthy. Also in laparoscopic surgery, we go inside the abdomen, we find the vein and we clip the vein, we put a clip on the vein, we stop the blood flow and expect that all the testis will heal. So, in general, 70% of the patients are healing with this method, but 30%, very commonly, 30% is a very huge number, high number, they are recurring. Why they are recurring? Because in these operations, in these procedures, it's not possible to reach to other two main vascular system of the testis. One is external testicular vein. You can't reach to it from uh, this route. The other is, this is less common actually, gubernacular veins. You can't reach to this, this venous system. So what's happening? In normal, uh, if these are not present, if the patient doesn't have big external and gubernacular veins, when you cut the blood flow here, the blood comes to testicle and it finds, it looks for a, a new route to go and uh, it go through the vasal veins. This is vas deferens, span channel. It has its own artery and own vein. They come from a shorter route because they will go to penis. The span will go to penis and they have a shorter road. The vasal veins in a shorter route connect to the main bloodstream. So we expect cut the stream here and the stream will go from here and the patient will heal. Unfortunately, in 30% of the cases, we have this external vein, we have this gubernacular vein. So if the patient has big external and gubernacular veins, when you cut the stream here, the blood comes to testicle and it also goes back from here and circulation continues from here. When circulation continues, this part of the veins also may not be disappearing, may not be absorbed by the body, may not be dying. So they may still alive, still stay alive. So this circulation is continued by these veins is uh, making the operation unsuccessful. So is there a way that we can understand who will benefit from embolization and laparoscopic surgery? Yes. If you ask your radiology doctor to look for the veins before the operation and if the enlarged veins are in the upper part of your testicle, in this side, they are most possibly internal veins. If you have veins beside the testis or underneath the testicle, yeah, they are external and gubernacular veins. And in these patients, if there are large veins, they will not disappear. They will not fade away. They will not be absorbed by the body. So urology work did not understand this fact yet, but you may ask to your radiology doctor to control the veins if they are. It's very easy to understand with the uh, Doppler device. If they are beside in the neighborings of the testicle, yeah, this is an external vein or gubernacular vein. If it is in the upper part of the testis, you will have a big chance for the uh, embolization and laparoscopic surgery to get cured completely. Yeah, so this is really very confusing subject, very difficult to understand. After seeing many recurrent cases, I made this as a theory. It's not a proven fact. It is not in the guidelines. So nobody understand it this way. I am talking with my experiences. This is not a rule. This is not proven. So, but this is my view. This is my experience. I wish a healthy life to all of you guys.